Hello, everybody. How's it going? And welcome back to the Supreme Ruler tutorial. Next episode of uh, Supreme Ruler, which is, will hopefully be tomorrow, will be Saudi Arabia. I know I've been uh, neglecting it, but uh, that is coming, don't worry. And uh, But this time on the tutorial, we are looking at the next tab, which is Research, uh, and Research and Development. Research is important, uh, and the reason it is important is because it makes you basically stronger. Uh, as well as makes your people happier because you can research both. Um, well, you can research many, many things, and uh, that is kind of awesome. And it, it says available to research stuff here. Like I'll show you what everything is. But uh, on the side here, you have uh, what your projects currently are. So how many projects you can research, and how many you're actually researching. Um, so I'm searching, researching currently, researching uh, 28 of them, and uh, there are others that will soon become. So you see. Um, this one, Chameleon Armor, is not researching currently, but it needs uh, because it needs um, Nano Metallurgy, I think, and Nano Metallurgy is currently researching. So once that's finished, that will start researching, and uh, that's really what it does. Uh, it researches certain things, and then it prepares to research things that uh, require a lower level thing that you are currently researching. It's really kind of confusing. Uh, honestly, though, the research queue, except for a few items. Uh, which includes the creation of Challenger 3 tanks, uh, uh, Eurofighter uh, aircraft, which is some of the best in the world, as well as some of the um, American bombers, the... Uh, oh, fuck, what are they called? Uh, I think I have one somewhere, uh, sitting in the States. I don't know where it would be sitting in the States, but it's supposedly sitting in the States with uh, the rest of my Air Force, but at any rate, uh, it's 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 that black one that I f honestly forget what the fuck it's called. Um, you know, it's probably in here. No, a bunch of Tigers. Tigers are good as well, actually. Uh, I can't find it, but it's it's a black triangular aircraft, which I forget what it's called. When I remember it, I will say it, but uh, I don't think I actually have the research for it. It's a very high-end aircraft. But uh, besides those, I really kind of just let this go uh, on its own. And uh, a couple other things I do kind of want that I uh, research, but other than that, I find it does well on its own, and it will just automatically research because your minister will automatically research things for you. And this is one of the few times that the ministers come in handy, uh, because the ministers will just research, and uh, re sometimes they'll actually research stuff that is relevant. So if your people are unhappy, it will research something that makes your people happy. So this is one of the few times that the ministers come in actual handy, um, and it's kind of good that they exist. But, uh, yeah, that's the cue there. And uh, research progressing versus prerequisite required. So, yeah, um, that's what's going on with that. So, if we come over here, we have the first uh, tab, which is spending. And this is very basic. Uh, daily research and development, how much it costs in total is uh, uh, one point, almost $1.7 billion uh, per day. And uh, down here you have your sliders, which you can adjust it and uh, adjust how much goes to what. So research efficiency is currently the most expensive, which, as it should be. Um, uh, technology level, so this helps level you up in your technology, which is over here, which I'll explain in a minute. And project development, which basically, uh, the more you put into this, the faster these uh, develop, uh, because the more money is in it to make it develop. Uh, the efficiency is also uh, something that does that too, and you can max them out. And uh, as you gain uh, research, as you gain uh, a better economy and stuff, these numbers will all change. This will go up and down. Um, you do have to keep a fair eye on this so this doesn't become ridiculously overpriced because you don't need as much as you think uh, in this. And uh, <clears throat> over here it shows your technology level, which currently I just leveled up. I'm level 122. Uh, your tech ranking in the world, I'm second, I think, next to Japan, but I'm not sure. Um, this is my current efficiency, 78% efficiency, which is not bad, actually. And research queue, which is kind of behind, because I am currently queued at 28, uh, but I am currently researching 16. Um, so I find those kind of clash sometimes, and it doesn't really make much sense. I go with this one, because if you count here, there are uh, 28 in total ready to research. So it really does not matter that much. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. And we go to the next tab. This is available research. This is where uh, things get kind of interesting with researching. So this is like the building units and uh, production facilities type thing. You get to choose what you want to do and in what thing. So you see there's warfare, transportation, science, technology, medical, and society. Medical, society, and some tech, and some science. 
help uh, your people, whereas obviously warfare, transportation, some science, and some technology help your uh, military. So there is – you have to kind of have a mix. Uh, you can choose what you want to uh, research. This is everything in warfare that you will have to research over the entire thing. Only the African Empire has actually researched everything in warfare. And that is the only LP that I've done that in. And the year for that is like 2045, 2050, somewhere around that range. So it takes a long-ass time to do it. And that's on, like, high efficiency. Like, I spend a lot of money in uh, my research. So, yeah. Honestly, I would say let your minister, again, choose. But if you want to choose, you can um, go over and choose one, for example. So Metal Storm. It uh, When you click on it, it comes up here. Uh, tells you what it is, so it's the second generation of advanced high rate of fire projectile weapon technologies, and basically machine guns and stuff like that. So, and then uh, it shows you what you need to be able to research it, which I have researched both of these, uh, which is kind of awesome. Uh, and then you can, uh, yeah, you click access to technologies. So my access is good, and it, this is prerequisite stuff. So. Um, if it has the little icon here, which you can see the little uh, vial with the exclamation point, it means you need prerequisites that you don't have. Um, if you click on it, though, it, it, again, it explains what it is, but it also gives you what those prerequisites are, so you can research those prerequisites that you haven't researched yet. So right now it's basic microwave weaponry, which is the main one, and which basically also is kind of cool because I can... I can microwave people. That's so cool. <laughs> but yeah, so advanced tech designs again. You can you know find out what you need, and this is a lot of stuff. Um, this is really high end tanks. This is when you get into Challenger fours, which is the highest end tank. Now, I said earlier about researching Challenger threes quickly because they are quicker to research than Challenger fours, so you can get them out in the first year or so if you don't buy them off of Britain. Uh, but Challenger fours are going to take you about ten years, ten years or so to research, and no country has them. So you cannot buy the stuff off of another country. No country has them. So, yeah, just as a, uh, a thing there. And you can cl click that with anything, and it says, you know, what it does and how it helps uh, certain things. And um, yeah, it's just kind of cool. And if you go over them like this, it comes up. It tells you what the required technological level is currently, uh, how much it's going to cost you to research it, the development uh, schedule and research time estimate, which is how long it's going to take you, Public opinion and world opinion of project. Most of them are indifferent. There's not very many where they're like pleased or whatever. Like this one, for example, is um, luckily uh, supportive by uh, my public. Um, and it's kind of cool. But this one here is indifferent for both. And most of them seem to be, especially when it comes to warfare. So you got to be kind of, you know, care. you don't really have to be careful. Like there's none that really make too many people outraged. So it's just that most are indifferent. Uh, then you have completion bonus, which there are none for this one currently. Um, there are others that have medium. It just goes medium and high and all this kind of stuff. Basically, it just helps you and uh, in certain uh, certain ways. So, and it also says if there's a if it's a prerequisite for something. So if there's something else that could be made by researching this, and for this one there isn't, but for many of the basic ones, obviously there are. Uh, it also says the status, which is unresearched, and if I go over here, it says researching and how uh, how much is left, of course, in the bar and whatnot. Um, and it gives the effects of the project, so infrastructure rating is up 5%, which is kind of good, because my infrastructure is poor. And it also says the prerequisites, for example, this one needs augmented reality, which I don't have yet, and GPS, which I do have. So, kind of interesting. And if you want to begin research on, say, digital roads, all I have to do is click begin research, and it comes over here. Uh, and begins to research. So it's currently queued. All right. So if we go over here, this is military designs. So if you want to just research a design, just right off the bat, not worry about all this kind of stuff. Um, if you have the prerequisites for something, so you need technology requirements for these. You cannot research something militarily or otherwise without the prerequisites. It will not show up on this list until you have the prerequisite. So if you don't see, um, for example, the challengers, up here yet, it's because you don't have the prerequisite designs for it yet, and you have to find out what those are. Um, that's the reason why certain things don't show up here. Currently, I have a fairly high amount, so I can research a lot of things, which are really powerful. I recommend doing this, uh, especially in the beginning, uh, for example. it Yeah, it does have a little bit of this. Okay, never mind. 
This is the Challenger 3U, which is a really, really good one. Um, it's a little bit more better than um, Challenger 3s. And this is the Challenger 4, which is um, one, the best tank in the game. It, it is amazing how good this tank is. Um, it's just really, really, really good. And as well as the TE-2A, which is actually really, really good as well. Um, I would not knock this one out, although I would say that the Challenger 4 is probably better and has given me um, more than the TE-2A. Uh, TE which, again, good tank, but not preferred. So if you want to do that, all you really have to do, again, is just hit the research. It gives you the prerequisites as well. And if you hit research, it will start researching uh, said tank, and it will as well begin to research the uh, tank designs. So advanced tank designs currently is queued. So it uh, it's kind of an easy way to kind of bypass, like, looking through all of this, trying to find stuff. You can just come to here and figure out what you need. So, yeah. Again, not everything is showing up on here. It's mostly just stuff that you have prereqs, prereqs for. Like, for example, like... Um, the, you know, the TE-2A, uh, you do have some of the basic level stuff, you just don't have the more advanced stuff. But if you don't have the basic stuff, like if I started off a new thing, this tank wouldn't exist here because I don't have um, the basic, basic stuff. So, just a reminder to you for that. Uh, the same thing goes for all of this stuff. You know, all of this uh, fighter interceptor, fighter bomber, you know, alpha jets and stuff like that. Um, the Supreme Tiger is really, really good. I uh, recommend uh, that one. Uh, so is the Super Hornets and stuff. Uh, Terra Seekers, uh, Strategic Bombers, whoa, uh, that's the bomb, that's the, uh, the Swan Sea, it's the American bomber that's really, really good, um, the best bomber, actually, I think, so, yeah, there you go, now, all of these are really, really good, but I think that one's probably better, and you got Patrol, of course, and, of course, you have, uh, big transport train planes, uh, which, you know, 747 Boeing is kind of, is the best, 747 Boeing, um, and then you have facilities, of course, which research center is how you uh, get more research. That will go up if I build one more research center. That will go up to 29. So that's just that. It's fairly basic. It's the same as in the tabs. You know, there's 80 there. There's 110 there. It's the same It's the same thing. And if I want to build it, all I have to do is click on it, and then I can build two there, for example. It also says how much it's going to cost me. So <laughs> one research center is 750 mil, 130 days to build. Um... In construction currently, there's three. Scrapping, zero. It's it's all the basic stuff that you see anyway. Uh, this is research queue, which is, again is over here, so you really don't have to do that. Although this does give you the option to pause research or cancel it completely. And also, for example, in with Chameleon Armor, it doesn't show it, which is weird. Um, technically here, it's supposed to show you the prerequisite technology, so the stuff you need to build this. Uh, but it's not working for some reason. I don't know if that's a glitch or if that's just, I don't know. Ah, there we go. So if I go Arctic Lifter, uh, it shows me here. I don't know why it's not showing for other things, but uh, it shows me here, like, the prerequisites I need to uh, uh, to do uh, Arctic Lifter. So, And if I want to cancel that, I can. If I want to pause that research so I can research, like, advanced tank designs, for example, then I can. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to do that, but I can. So, And this is known technologies. This is everything I currently know. Um... Really, this doesn't really do anything unless you're trying to look for something specific to see if you have it or not or whatever. Um, and also, you know, it's, it says what it does and how it helps you. And, for example, if I want sonar or whatever, reactive armor and stuff, like it shows, you know, the prerequisites I needed to get nuclear weapons is nuclear fission. So it shows that uh, if you're interested in seeing what prerequisites and stuff is for everything. But really, I don't find much use in this. Um, I ne I've never clicked on this, and I don't go to the research tab very often. I go to research stuff, for example, like the Challenger 4, or like um, really good uh, f fighters and stuff like that, and like boats and shit. But um, our carriers are really good. The sh that one is really, really good, because you don't you can load a lot of units on it, and you don't need a seaport to uh, drop them off at, so it's really good. Um, I don't go often besides this, uh, to check some prereq stuff and to adjust the budget. That is really the only thing I personally do. You can do whatever the fuck you want with it. Personally, I haven't even built research centers besides this. I just take over nations, I get the research centers, and I just go on my merry way. I research enough, I can buy enough. You can buy pretty much everything you really need besides the really advanced stuff like Challenger 4s, TEA-2s, uh, the Swan Sea Fighters, you can buy most of that stuff. Actually, the Swan Sea Fighters, if you play not on Shattered World, you can buy Swan Sea Fighters from the United States. They have those. So you can buy the best 
bomber in the game right off the bat if you want. And you can buy the like third highest tank in the game right off the bat. So really research is good for certain things, but it's not really required for you to pay much attention to. I'd say it's one of the least um, paid attention to tabs besides possibly operations. Um, operations I don't find as all that useful either, and I'll get to that when I get to that tab. But anyway, guys, thank you much for watching, and I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow with Saudi Arabia. Peace.